Alethra ruins are quite the stimulating location, wouldn't you agree? There could be no better place to perform one of my scripts. Though it is in a state of some disrepair, perhaps it needs a little fixing up. Hey, Akos! How about you shut up and make dinner? Trust me, you'll be more used to everyone cooking than writing those vapid scripts of yours. How terribly rude. What recipes are you good at? What kind of stuff can you cook? Can you make any speciality dishes? So, what kind of food can you make? Alas, I'm surrounded by fools who think only of their stomachs. <laughs> well, can you blame us? Your food's good, and scripts aren't going to make us any less hungry. Though, come to think of it, I'm not sure what kind of recipes you're actually good at. Everything you make so delicious, I never paid much attention. That would be because I specifically cooked all your favorite meals. Huh, who'd have thunk it? Dear me, an artist is never appreciated in his own time. At any rate, I'm afraid I don't have any particular specialties. Though, there is one thing I can't stand to cook. The Argentum Monkfish. I cannot begin to imagine how to create something appetizing from that grotesque form. A single look at it makes me crazy. Hold on. What do its looks have to do with how it tastes? Are you dense, girl? Aesthetic appeal is an integral part of the culinary arts. How do you expect me to produce a beautiful creation from such vile subject matter? It is a menace, a slayer of appetites. No sane person would wish to partake of it. Its bloated protuberances, its clammy exterior. Even for a fish, it's hideous. The mere thought of it sends a shiver down my spine. You're coming up with all kinds of fancy words there. But basically, you just don't want to touch it, right? But of course. Why should I befile my artist's hands with such an abomination? A fish Akos won't touch, huh? Maybe we should ask Pyra to cook one up sometime. What? Well, even if you can't manage Akos, I bet Pyra could make a tasty meal out of it. I see. When you put it that way, I feel perhaps it is time I took up this challenge after all. Oh, you'll cook one for us then. Yes. I can't be outdone by Pyra. My pride will not allow it. I can't wait to taste what you come up with, Akos. Well, this ought to be fun. I look forward to tasting your creation, Akos. Well, this'll definitely be worth a taste. <laughs> Prepare to be amazed. I'm more interested in the scripts. Those scripts sound pretty interesting. I find those scripts most intriguing. Those scripts have caught my interest. Thank goodness at least my driver possesses some measure of taste. I was actually just starting on a script starring you as the hero. But now, I think I will portray you yet more flatteringly than I had intended. You will be the finest of heroes, master of the pen and the sword alike. Seriously? Have you forgotten who you're talking about here? Petroka, I will depict you as a worthless glutton with a fondness for midday naps. What? Hey, I'm not worthless. Sure, I procrastinate a bit sometimes, but I kick ass when it counts. True, but we have an entire party of formidable fighters. Including a worthless layabout girl will add to the variety and make the story much more entertaining. That's fine, but you don't have to model your worthless layabout girl after me. I want to give you your chance to shine, my dear Petroka. It would be tragic if you were lost amongst the crowd. Then give me a more shiny sort of role. The role of worthless layabout glutton is not to your liking? The role of worthless layabout glutton is to my extreme disliking. I see. Then, Rex, I will give you the role of the worthless layabout glutton instead. How about no? Then, Nia, I will give you the role of the worthless layabout glutton instead. Oh, how no. Then, Morag, I will give you the role of the worthless layabout girl instead. I fear I may be a little old for that position. Besides which, would the plot progress with a layabout for the hero? Then, Zeke, I will give you the role of the worthless layabout glutton who is past his prime instead. Who are you calling past his prime? And what kind of hero would that be? Dear me, you're all so picky. 